Look at all these beautiful vans. I am glad you are here with us. Steve Deval from Thor Motor Coach. We are at the Thor Industries Dealer Open House. I couldn't be more excited to come to you today with some very exciting van news. For those of you who like vans, and you can see, we have all kinds of vans to choose from. We have, we have four by four sprinters. We have all wheel drive transits. We have Ram Promasters. Okay, and a lot of these vans have a lot of high end luxury features. Now, think about when you are ordering a car, you're looking at cars, there are different trim levels, right? What are you gonna use it for? What are you gonna use your van for? Well, maybe, maybe when you're looking at your van and how you're gonna use it, you don't need the Italian techno form cabinets. And maybe you're gonna go adventuring, right? And you don't want uh, leather seats, you want uh, cloth seats so you can throw uh, nice neoprene seat covers on there. You want to get out there, you want to explore, and you can explore in the brand new Twist camper van. This is the 2JB that we're going to show you. Very exciting product. This is the van designed for those of you who love to just pack up and go. All you want is a home base, right? You're gonna, you're gonna put something on that 3,500 pound hitch. Maybe it's one of the, uh, like a Thule ski rack or maybe something to hold your canoes or your kayaks. And then you're gonna go down the river, then you come back, you're gonna cook, you're gonna eat, you're gonna hang out at your home base in the twist. I know it's starting to rain just a little bit here. Tom, why don't we go ahead and head on inside We'll start the tour in here. Uh, again, real quick, there are three floor plans. The 2AB, you have the 2JB, and you have the 2LB. Now, the AB and the JB have the optional pop top for you. We are going to take a look at the JB, and here we go inside. I love the way this looks. The cabinetry, you have the flat panel cabinets here instead of the techno form that you find in our Sequence and Tolaro products. They are large, they open, they have the hidden hinges here, and they close with just a little bit of oomph at the end. That way you know whatever you put in there is going to stay secure. But I love the way this looks. This is called Charcoal Fusion, by the way. And you can see we have these everywhere. Store what you need, charge your devices, and give yourself some room in the pop top. So this is going to be the optional sky bunk. Just like you've seen us show you in many, many videos before, you have the skylight up above, you have the three vents, the three flaps for sleeping under the stars, get some ventilation in there, you have storage back here. Up above, you have the seats that swivel, and we'll climb into the cockpit here in just a minute. Uh, while we're here, Tom, I'll just kind of trade you places, and we'll talk about some of the electronics in here. You do have an inverter, all right, a 1,000 watt inverter. Now with this, and again, this is where we're talking about some of those products here where we are thinking, okay, I'm gonna use this as a home base. This comes with a gas generator, a 2800 gas generator runs right off your tank. For those of you who don't want the cost of lithium, we're going back to generators. So this you can get off grid and really explore. Let's talk about uh, our Rapid Camp Plus. I will step outside so we can walk through the screens here. On your home screen, this is your control center. Quick check your tank levels, lights, your climate. What's nice about this setup here is when you connect to the cloud, you can control your lights and your climate from wherever you happen to be, which is great. So you're going down the river and you're like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit. There's this great little place in town. I'm gonna to adjust the climate, I'm gonna adjust the lights. You can do that when you're connected from the cloud, wherever you happen to be. And quick touch buttons for all your lights, your water pump. Next button down, turn your water pump on. Tank heaters, yep, you do have tank heaters on this for your gray tank. Right over here, our climate, you can set your climate here, cool. Your furnace is going to be set through your Truma. We'll talk about that here next. Do have our lights, you can go down through here. Power, auto generator, because we do have the 2800 gas generator on here. Start your generator, set your auto gen start. Then you can go in and really dial in, do you want volts? What do you want your triggers to be? How long do you want it to run? Dial it in, how it fits, how you're gonna use it right through the settings key. And then you go down, solar controller. There's a built-in 190 watts of solar on top. We'll show you where the port is if you wanna plug in a little bit more. So you have solar on board. 
And then down here you have a, a fan for your bath and you have a kitchen vent fan as well. Hard buttons, these control the lights and quick shortcut keys because this is an Android tablet. Just like your Android phone, it takes a few seconds to boot up and if you don't wanna wait, you can just go ahead and quickly touch all these buttons and you can see I'm turning the lights on and off right there. And this is what you're going to use to pay your phone. Up here is our inverter. Turn it on or off, and over here is our Truma Eco Combi. This is going to provide you with heat and hot water. You can see a scroll through little camper van there is how you set your uh, furnace from 40 to 86 degrees. Over here is how you set your water. You just press it. You have Eco, you have Hot, and you have Boost. Boost is what you're going to want to use when you uh, turn on your shower. It's 144 degrees. And then you can go through and set your fans if you just want to recycle uh, the air, get some circulation going. But a great system here, it is your Truma Eco Combi hot water and provide you with your furnace. So as we walk through, we do have our 12 volt battery disconnect switch right there on the doorway. Don't forget to turn that on as you hit the road in your dazzle because that's gonna fire up all your 12 volt systems, your lights, your 12 volt refrigerator, Oh my gosh, I love this kitchen here. So many things in here I wanna talk about. So you're using this as a home base, right? You come back after a long day, you wanna prepare a meal. You have your sink, you can use this as a cutting board. You have a couple of 110s and you do have USB A and C. Now in order to get the power here, this isn't 12 volt, you're gonna to have to turn on your generator or be plugged into shore power. 30 amps of shore power. We'll talk about all of that when we go over to the other side. Two burner gas cooktop, light it like you would. Turn it to light, make sure your propane is on, and then you are enjoying, on a day like today, maybe it's a nice chowder. Microwave right here, works just like a microwave. You have a shortcut keys, whatever you wanna cook, so you are fully prepped with all kinds of storage. Water filter, we'll show you where that goes. Drawer. Another drawer showing you inside the drawers. I know a lot of you love to see inside the cabinets. So storage, it's one of the things we do with the B-Van here is try to give you as much storage as we can. So remember when we get this in, this is just a Ram ProMaster 3500 XT window van chassis. We get it, it is empty inside, absolutely empty. Then our team goes to town and then we build it all up, all the plumbing, all the electrical, and they do a fantastic job of creating what you're seeing here and designing, well, where should we put storage? How about a little closet here? Down below, more storage. Maybe you wanna use that as your pantry. Table here. This is a great setup here. So remember these chairs swivel. So if you have people over or you just want a different view, you can swivel those chairs around. This table, you can sit, have your meal, play some games, visit, do a little work on the road. If you want it out of the way, a little latch here, you can adjust it, completely move it, fold it out, set it where you need to set it. And there you go, there is your table. Up here, while I'm seeing it, we do have a ladder for outside. That is going to take and let you get up on the roof if you need to get up there, do some maintenance. Uh, the screen door is getting in the way of the camera here. Uh, I will move that, but yeah, for ventilation and keeping the bugs out, roll up screen door, just simply clips, and then you unzip it, fold it down, and now you have all of the nice ventilation coming through in your twist. Wet bath, we have a medicine cabinet in here. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll switch places with Tom here, so if he can squeeze through there. So we have our medicine cabinet, we have our shower, fold down sink, switch for light and fan. You have your cassette toilet, the little blue button there, that's how you put water into the bowl. And then down here is how you essentially flush shower and the shower miser. What's great about uh, the shower miser, especially when you're off grid, and this is really kind of a stealthy look because as we go outside, uh, a couple other features that you, you come to know and love, the, the, the twist is saying, you know what, you're not gonna use that. And one of them is the awning, right? So it's a little, a little stealthy, uh, but nonetheless, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Um, the shower miser, when you are off grid, you don't wanna fill up your gray tank, right? You're off grid. So when you wanna take a hot shower, just turn the lever. And then when the lever is turned, you turn on your hot water, and then as the water heats up, and again, you're setting the temperature 
with your Truma Eco Combi. The little blue disc that you see is going to take and turn to a bluish white. And then you know the water is hot. You go ahead and you turn the valve. Then you hit the shower right up here and now you have hot water and you haven't filled up your gray tank. Great feature, it is the shower miser. As we work our way back, in here we have a big closet with storage. I'm gonna kind of scooch around the table here. All right, so multi-purpose feature you have. You have an area up front you can sit with the table, entertaining right back here. So you have a person here, a person here. You have a couple people here, seat belts in here for the ride. You have speakers right up here under the cabinet. You can listen to some music. We'll talk about that when we hit up front. You have lights under the cabinets. I love these little stealthy reading lights you have right here. Now this table actually moves out of the way. You can lift this up, you can store it. This will make into your sleeping area. So you have a sleeping area here and you have a sleeping area in the pop top. You have connections back here. If you would like to add a TV, again, when we built this, we talked to people. We said, you know, what are you looking for in a van to get out there to explore to have fun and so many people said you know what we don't we don't want a tv we never watch tv we're not camping to watch tv we're not sitting under the awning we want something that is going to serve us as our home base and that's what we've created this for but if you'd like to add a tv you can put that in right here again more storage right up above electronics cabinet in here you have an hdmi port a couple of 110s if you would like to connect cable to the tv you do that in here another cabinet with usb a ports long pass through so you can fit some longer items right up here ventilation again another important item both windows take and open. So you get cross ventilation in here. There is a screen that folds in. You do have the privacy shades that simply fold down and zip. So they, that's it. That's how easy and fast it is to take and give yourself privacy back here. And we have our AC, 11,000 BTU AC right up top here. And this is the inside of our twist. Now I want to take and hit up the uh, so I'm showing the, the, the dash here because Ram really went to town on this. They did a fantastic job. I'm going to pop out, head on over. All right, now we're in the driver's seat. Now I'm driving the bus. All right, so check this out. This is a wonderful, I'll tell you, Ram just really took this to the next level here. Large touch screen up here. Let's see if I can fire this up. Did we leave the key? Oh, we left the keys in it. All right, so check this out on your home screen. I love this. This is this is uh, Uconnect 5. So this is the latest version of Uconnect 5. You can connect phones, your navigation, and radio on the same page. Uh, what media do you want? You can control your AC and your heat either through the touch screen or through the hard buttons down below. You have navigation. You can connect your phone. You can uh, turn on your hazards like I just accidentally did. Information about your vehicle, different settings. And what's nice about this is this works much like your, uh, like your phone. You can adjust the widgets and kind of you know, drag things around. Where do you want to move it? Uh, just like that. Oh, I want my phone first because I'm going to use that. Oh, and then so you can adjust that however you want. It's really nice. There are a number of apps in here, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you have Alexa on board as well. That is the Uconnect 5, fantastic system. Hard buttons down below for your AC. Lane keeping system here, so if you happen to drift, that is gonna give you a visual and audio warning. Door locks, traction control hazards, USB-C, USB-A, you have a nice 12 volt here, nine speed transmission, a Pentastar V6, 276 horsepower, 250 pound feet of torque. You have a tow haul mode. And then over here, you have all the controls that you need. So if you want to talk, this thing will actually, you know, as, as most systems do now, just hit the voice and then you can talk to it. It will read you your text, answer phone calls. Over here, this one we're in right now does have the adaptive cruise control. On the back of the steering wheel, buttons over on the left side control the station for the radio. Buttons on the right side control the volume. Headlights, turn them on auto. You have uh, your windshield wipers in uh, electronic parking brakes. You don't have that bulky handle down here. It's an electronic parking brake. An emergency start, so you can use the 
uh, house batteries to jump your chassis battery. You just hold that in. Remote power heated mirror, so loaded to the hilt. And the safety features on this are incredible. You can go through and change all of your uh, dashboard settings. You have lane departure keeping right there. Driver, dri oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you. Uh, music, you can go through here and use this. So it's really kind of a hands-free driving experience and set this up how you want. And that's one of the things I love that Ram did with this is they went out and just really upped it. It looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. If you have questions as we head outside, go ahead and post those in the comment below. Oh, one more thing. Brandon is on board answering all your questions today. Uh, wireless charging. I want to talk about that. You can put your, wire, your phone in here and you have wireless charging for your phone. And if you want internet, WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. So you can take and use a uh, your current carrier all you have to do is buy a plan and a sim card and then you can insert that into the device on top or you can tap into nearby wi-fi signals as well and pull in wi-fi from you know, campgrounds restaurants wherever set your password make it safe make it secure and you are connected for life on the road you have pockets up here these are the privacy shades for the windows storage up below a nice glove box i like the way these seats look and again these are great, so if you're going to be out there, you're not going to ruin any leather. This will dry. Or you can buy some, uh, uh, I bought a, uh, for a car I used to have that had that, and I had, it did a lot of stuff with dogs. It's a, it was like a neoprene wetsuit material put on there. That stuff was fantastic. So as we head out, you'll notice that we lost the awning. Okay, a lot of folks said, you know, we don't, we don't need the awning. And it also gives you a more stealthy appearance. When you're driving a van without an awning, people don't know that's a camper van. Working our way through, you have, still have the nice running boards. We'll move our floor plan sign over here. A couple of 110 outlets back here, GFCI, so you can run your generator or plug into 30 amp shore power and get those fired up. As we walk around back, no bike rack back here. A lot of people on some of the other products say, can I remove the bike rack? I want to carry something else. Or maybe on the 3,500 pound hitch, they'll put something where they can carry uh, an e-bike or canoes or skis or whatever your adventure is, 3,500 pounds. A little storage back here. Uh, inverter is back here. Wash off those bikes. You have a hose right here so you can Wash off whatever you need. Maybe you're gonna, maybe you travel with pets. Maybe you have golden retrievers. I now have three. The older one is Bentley. The teenage puppy is Winston. And the new puppy is Zoe. They love to try. I like golden so much, I have them on my socks. That is dedication. You know what? Post some pictures of your pets down below that love to travel. Again, Brandon is answering all your questions today. Thank you very much, Brandon have another screen back here, so a screen for the side, the back. You have the windows here that open, so plenty of ventilation. Back here you can see the controls I was talking about for the TV or the, the plugs rather than the USB. Backup camera, you have that. That's a put it in reverse and that camera will come on and you can see right behind you or when you are walking in. As we walk around here, over to the business end. Uh, you do have tire pressure monitoring for this. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people do is they use this for an adventure van. They're like the first thing you do is they, you know they 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 slap out, swap out, give it new shoes. And if you're going to do some off-roading, this is front-wheel drive, uh, and I'm not endorsing any brand, but I know Goodyear makes a Dura Track in this size. So if you want to put a little beefier tire on that, go ahead. Exhaust for your Truma. Cassette toilet is here. This just pulls out, and then you can go ahead and empty that. You know, the one thing I want to talk about here, and because this is new, I didn't have time to do all my studying. So let's go over some of the specs. All right, so you're gonna have 24 gallons of gas. Uh, you have 27 gallons of fresh water and your cassette toilet's four and three quarters. Your gray tank is 20 gallons. So that is the information you have. Lockable, lockable fresh water. This is your fresh water fill. Your city water fill is here. When you are dry camping, make sure that your water pump is on. When you are hooked to your city fill, you don't need your water pump on. We talked about the 190 watts of solar. If you have some portable panels, those will plug in right here. Cable for the camp, 
right here if you want to plug in some cable, if you hook up a TV. Uh, your gray tank, your sewer hose is self-contained right here because it's a cassette toilet. You have your gray tank, hose is already in there. You run that over to the dump station. You pull your gray handle and you have just emptied your tank. Propane is here. When that is on, then you can use uh, your, your Truma runs off of propane. So make sure that is on if you want hot water uh, or heat. 30 amps of shore power. So you're going to plug this in uh, when you're not running your generator. Your fuel fill is right here. So you put up your fuel right there. The mirrors can actually fold in if you need them to. Uh, the other thing real quick that I want to talk about, one last thing because I know you're going to ask. Let's pull some numbers off of here. Oh my gosh, how much can you carry? 1,674 pounds is your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. You can load this van up and it is 21 feet, one inch in length. This is the all new twist. If you'd like more information, thormotorcoach.com. And you have to stay with us all day because this was one of five new motorhomes. In a couple hours here, we're going to try and shoot for around 11. We got weather. We have a couple other things we're working on, but tune in for 11 o'clock. We have a brand new Class A. Oh, absolutely stunning. Stay with us all day. I'm Steve DeVault, the Thor Industries dealer open house. I'm glad you're with us. Keep the comments coming, and we'll see you again in just a couple hours.